Hey y'all, I am Daniel Aaron. Thank you for joining me. You could think of me as your field guide, explorer, roving journalist into the realms of higher consciousness, into the realms of how to live a vibrant life, how to thrive. And I'm excited today to share something with you about sacred sexuality, a topic I will get into more soon. I've gotten into a bit stuff that I didn't used to talk about much uh, publicly for fear that um, people would judge it or have reactions to it. And you know, it's time for everyone, myself included, to go beyond fear. And um, so if anything that I'm talking about here is not to your liking, then please know that I mean no disrespect and feel free to just dismiss it. If anything I share comes across as useful and you dig it, cool. Take whatever you want from it, and um, if you want to play around with it on your own, or if you want to engage with me more about it, uh, let me rephrase that, engage, um, communicate about it, um, you know, have a correspondence about it, or help with it, awesome. And specifically, it's around, i uh, nervous to say this, the perils of orgasm and why one might choose not to orgasm. And I'm talking about guys, not just not ejaculating, I mean also, and this is already a bit fringe, you know, when we talk about semen retention and non-ejaculation, also not letting the energy build up so much that we have those sort of orgasmic explosions, whether it includes ejaculation or not. And women operate in a different sexual cycle, a different sexual circuitry, and there's, you know, in my, from my perspective, pros and cons in a different way as to orgasm for a woman. And for now, though, I'm going to keep it simple for this video and say you might want to play around with simply not orgasming. And, and what I mean and why you might is because part of what happens with orgasm is there is a huge chemical cocktail released in the body. It's a pleasure-seeking, dopamine-producing hit, very much like what happens through different drugs, um, different substances, and, um, and very much like what's happening in our culture these days with simple media challenges, why so many of us are addicted to the forms of media that we have, whether it's email or message or Facebook or WhatsApp or whatever it is, um, there is a tendency to look for input, you know, pleasure seeking. And the problem with pleasure seeking is, well, let's just put it this way, it's seeking. It What underlies it is some kind of belief that this moment needs something else, that I'm needing something else, that it's other than perfect the way it is. Don't get me wrong, y'all know that one of my favorite questions is how good can it get? And you know, part of what my dedication is through all of my work is the art of vibrant living and part of what that means to me is, hey, you know what? In the places in our lives where it's dark or closed or contracted, let's open it up, let's have expansion, let's have light, let's have more joy, more love all the time. And the great contrast, the conundrum, the paradox is how do I stay present with and loving exactly what's happening right now and from that place say, Ooh, what else could there be? What else could I play with? So the challenge with orgasm is that when we get that wow, excitement and the dopamine rush and the co chemical cocktail runs through us, then we have a crash. And what usually happens from that is one or the other of the people in a relationship will um, have negativity rise up that we tend to project on the other and it leads to fights, disappointment, disengagement, a breaking of that love and the spiritual connection that really is the root of the relationship. And so the possibility is to, and I'll just say it briefly here, go into it more in the webinar and if y'all are interested, um, I've done a, a Facebook Live post recently that goes into some more depth on it, is the possibility is to 
when the sexual energy starts to build up to stay with it and present and when it gets to that point where it's going a little bit too stimulating a little bit too exciting then slow it down slow down especially the physical movements and part of what that often means is actually coming to stillness and I don't know how what y'all's sexual education was mine was um, porno magazines and then later like porn movies and thinking that's what's supposed to happen and that's the definition of success so for me for a long time part of me was thinking you know what this is sexuality is harder faster harder faster harder faster until it's over and so when that wild horse starts to run, it can take some challenge and practice to slow it back down and maybe even get to stillness. The promise though and the possibility I tell you is amazing and so worth it to play with. Because as we get to that more subtle way of connecting and the energy is flowing without the stimulation to get it there, it's exquisite and the the subtlety in some ways enhances the pleasure and the spirituality and the possibility through this is a much deeper connection with our partner on a heart level and also on a spiritual level there's a positive attachment that can stay with us rather than be broken by that pleasure seeking orgasm dopamine sort of uh, up and down roller coaster ride all right, it's a lot of info and it may come across to you like, oh yeah, that makes sense, I don't wanna try that. Or maybe like, what the hell are you talking about? Or maybe like, hey, I don't like that. And whatever your response is, totally cool by me. Um, I hope it's helpful, I hope it's interesting. And um, if y'all are interested in the webinar, there's more info down below. It's gonna be super fun. There's already an amazing group of people in it and uh, I hope you'll join. And either way, if you play around with this, cool. It's an opportunity for liberation. You know, anything that we resist will persist. So I invite you to be open to it, play with it. And if you got any response, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you, y'all. I am Daniel Aaron, and I will see you soon.